there is a kind of warrior God is building. It's an arsenal that the world has not seen. There are hybrid spiritual combinations, grace upon grace. There are certain graces that were alone, but God is merging them with other graces because there is a kind of warrior he's building. Listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, you, you will look at them and wonder are you an apostle are you an, a prophet we, we cannot describe what exactly you are there are hybrid combinations the hunger of people is driving them to touch graces they are touching graces the grace of an intercessor the grace of a financier the grace of a prophet number three experiencing new dimensions demand obedience this is a serious one. Obedience. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again, Emmanuel and the church will see your holy face Emmanuel when you come again listen there are some of you right now you are beginning to enter very deep seasons you are in a kairos moment in your life and it's not something that will just be for weeks. The Holy Spirit is going to hold your hand and lead you through dimensions sometimes you may not understand. I raise that song because I want to prophesy to you that you be strong in the midst of it. I charge you by the Spirit, be strong. You will pray alone many times. You will fast alone many times. The stage will not be there for men to give you the applause, but you need stamina and discipline. Stamina and discipline to build capacity. Hear me. You are building capacity for the days ahead. You are eating for the journey that is ahead. This is the word of the Lord to you. Build capacity. The Holy Ghost is going to hold your hands. He will draw you through realms and dimensions you have not seen. He said, call on me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Which thou knowest not, which thou knowest not, which thou knowest not, which thou knowest not. Listen, there is a kind of warrior God is building. It's an arsenal that the world has not seen. There are hybrid spiritual combinations, grace upon grace. There are certain graces that were alone, but God is merging them with other graces because there is a kind of warrior he's building. Listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, you, you will look at them and wonder, are you an apostle? Are you an, a prophet? We, we cannot describe what exactly you are. There are hybrid combinations. The hunger of people is driving them to touch graces. They are touching graces. The grace of an intercessor. The grace of a financier. The grace of a prophet. The grace of an apostle. The grace of a watchman. And that hybrid combination is forming a very dangerous believer that God will be using as a battle axe in this end time. Listen, you see, before now, before now, there are certain pathways that when men see you following, they can almost predict. But right now, 
you see worshippers that you do not know. Are you a musician or a prophet or an apostle? Because there are hybrid spiritual combinations. The, the hunger of men and the urgency of God's prophetic program is causing men to outsource graces. It's a dangerous spiritual combination. You will see men that are like armies. One man. One man because of the abundance of the graces that they have captured. Hallelujah. So you look at that man, you are seeing a Benihim, you are seeing a Reinhard Bonke, you are seeing a Catherine Kuhlman, and you are saying, what kind of believer are you? Who combined you like this? The intelligence of the spirit. men who don't have the voice to sing but they can receive songs like ladders from the spirit and give it to the ministry of psalmistry and say sing us into higher realms sing us let us ascend the ladders that will open to us the vistas of the spirit listen do not be afraid you started your journey thinking you are only a businessman but now you've gone through the training of a psalmist. You've gone through the training of an entrepreneur. You are now in the training of a prophet. You too, you don't even know the name of what you will become. He simply calls us witnesses because the nature of your assignment. Oh, David, a day will come. It is your song that will come out from your spirit. But don't just call me a musician because I sing. There is still a prophet there. And hiding behind the layer of the prophet, there is still a king that is there. Can I tell you, hear me, there are some of you, God dealt with you in certain ways, but he has never used the product of your growth. He kept it. In the future, you will revisit it. There was a time you were writing songs and it stopped. And you think that that ministry has died. It has not died. God is only focusing on other trainings. A day will come, he will tell you, reach down to that weapon of psalmistry. Bring it out. I suspended it so that I would train you in the prophetic. Now that you have become a prophet with fire, bring out that weapon of psalmistry. Obedience. Obedience to scripture. Please listen. Obedience to scripture and obedience to prophetic instructions. Can I tell you? Prophetic seasons don't just demand discernment and flexibility they do not just demand strength and courage they demand obedience to scripture and obedience to prophetic instructions whatever he says to do do it the miracle of the wine is not just in your moving forward it's in your moving as he commanded i prophesied as i was commanded not as i wanted not as i wished the desires of many will lead them to perdition because they cannot submit their desire to the obedience of scripture or the obedience of the prophetic let me show you two scriptures number one is found in Luke chapter 5 and verse 5. You must be willing to receive and honor scripture and honor prophetic instructions. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have caught nothing. He says, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Can I tell you? prophetic instructions are powerful when they are guided and administered within the jurisdiction of scripture prophecy is able to rewrite the narrative every time seasons are about to open there is always a manifestation of the prophetic when it was time for the famine in samaria to end the prophet elisha came and with one decree by this time tomorrow everything the climate changed prophetic instructions is it the miracle of abundant supply in Samaria is it the miracle of the axe head in 2nd Kings chapter 1 to 7 6 1 to 7 
the axe head that floated it was all through and by prophetic instructions is it the victory in the days of Jehoshaphat in 2nd Chronicles 21 to 30 all of them depend on obedience to prophetic instructions let me tell you what prophetic instructions are not number one it is not manipulating people to gratify self it is not manipulating people to gratify flesh that is not prophecy it's just the limitation of humans when they are not broken and are not aligned to God authentic genuine biblical prophetic instructions come as a scriptural instruction from God through his spirit are we together now and then through a human vessel to the people for instance declaring a fast it says sanctify yourself for in three days God will speak to you he will come to you reveal himself he will speak to you prophetic instructions if it be thou bid me come he said come the excellency of prophetic instructions is that if and when they are obeyed they always deliver because God is back of it he confirmed the words of his messengers, he says. Hallelujah. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Now you understand that scripture. Behold, I do a new thing. I do a new thing in your life demands discernment and flexibility. I do a new thing demands strength and courage. I do a new thing demands that you obey. That you learn to live by the word of God. It says man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please sit down. Let me give you this to wrap up tonight's teaching. But then this will be the ladder upon which we will take off from next week. 